and I'm here back at the same place where the guy got murdered two days ago. They had a candlelight vigil, but I couldn't be here because I was working. So I'm just checking it out right now after work. And there's still people here paying their respect to Michael Hall. So I just happened to meet Michael Hall's sister and she told me a little story that his RV got towed a few weeks ago and she saw on the news that they offer people living on the beach housing. So she told him, why don't you go down to the beach, set up a tent and hopefully you're gonna be one of those people, they're gonna get housing. And that's what he did. He put his tent up right here. And in, in the media, they said it was like a love triangle. But from what she told me, that's not true. The guy who was the murderer actually beat up the girl too and the girl was just looking for shelter and she went to Michael Hall's tent and he was hiding her in the tent from what she said and that's when the other guy came over and killed Michael. Everybody knows a little bit from the story but since this is his sister I think she knows what happened. There's always something going on in Venice. Definitely the drum circle is still going. And even though the sun is set already, the party is still going on. Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. There's never a dull moment on the boardwalk. Of course, the ghetto bird can't be missing. I literally have no idea what's going on. And it seems like I'm not the only one who doesn't know what's going on. The building you see in the background is the same building Machine Gun Kelly had a concert on the rooftop last week. What are they doing? I always like to get a different angle, that's why I'm on my bicycle right here and going into the alley just to see what's going on around the corner. Whoa, look at all those police cars. Six, seven, eight. Nine and going. So 
apparently it started with one guy trying to hit an officer and the crowd went crazy and it escalated and police was called for backup. He said, leave the area or you're subject to arrest. And if you don't know, you still don't know what's going on. I have no idea. All for one guy. Woo! So apparently German in Venice was busy working. When I came down here, I found somebody else who knew my channel and said he would be willing to talk to us. So here's the story. So when I came down here, I see all the police in, in, in riot gear and everything and what happened so like i was just out here walking with my my fiance and our son and you know we're just enjoying the weather down here it's kind of cloudy but we're just chilling and we see this guy getting arrested and they got like three four cops all around him on top of them pinning him to the ground and there's some ladies standing around and they're telling the cops like why are you doing this why are you you're hurting this guy for no reason when he's just out here, you know, they said public intoxication. Meanwhile, you got bars that get people drunk all day on the boardwalk. So he was just chilling like everybody else, but he's a homeless guy. So of course they got their excuse to arrest him and they arrested the guy right there. They were pushing all the women who were saying don't hurt him. And all of a sudden there was just so many people that it became almost like a riot type situation. And they brought in like dozens of officers. There was tons of them all lined up. They were pushing on people, mostly the women, unfortunately. They obviously, you know, don't care. They were pushing everybody telling us all we had no right to be here. I thought we had freedom in this country. I thought we were allowed to express our opinions, but I guess according to the police down here, that's not so. Did you hear anything about him having a gun? Somebody told me that he had, might have had a gun. I don't think so. I heard nothing about a gun. All the people who were there were saying that he was just relaxing on the beach with everybody else. They said he was just chilling and the cops came in, they arrested him and that was that. For all no right. Reason. And is that okay with you if I put you on my YouTube channel? Of course, man. Yeah, I love your channel. I'll be honored to be on your channel. Thank Jared. you very much. And what's your name? I'm Rob. Rob, man. Thank you very much for yeah, telling man. the story. People yeah. would like to know what happened here. So I had no clue. I just came here because my Citizen Alert app came up and it says yeah. police is looking for a backup, you know? Yeah, there was a lot of backup. They had so many cops down here, all because some people wanted to express their opinions, you know? We're all just standing around saying, hey, you shouldn't be hurting this guy. Hey, you shouldn't push those women. And all because of that, they brought all these cops down here. We're ready to start a whole riot, just like last summer, just because we had an opinion. Hey, Rob, thank you so much, man. Hey, Have a welcome, good day. Man. Yeah, for sure. Bam. Thanks for watching. Tschüssing.